Tom, one of our uh, American colleagues, I like to think of him as a friend. You'll read all the details uh, of his uh, professional life in David's obituary. Um, but I'd like to talk to you about him uh, as a friend, uh, a colleague uh, and uh, a prolific writer who contributed on many occasions to MT. Contributed to MT219, an article which uh, starts a journal off entitled uh, Two Points of View in which he's severely critical of the current uh, American system of, of teaching mathematics and gives us an insight uh, into his own uh, view of teaching. He retired uh, a couple of years ago um, due to Ill, Ill health, which meant he hasn't been able to attend ATM conferences, which is where I first met him. Uh, a larger-than-life character avidly interested in all things mathematical and in mathematics education. Really uh, a stalwart of the ATM community. For, to him, ATM was uh, a breath of fresh air. Uh, he just loved um, the, the things that were going on within the association. Uh, he would ring me and say, bring me up to date, what's happening? What went on to, on at conference? Who's doing what? Tell me things. Uh, always interested. He was ringing me just a week uh, before his death uh, to talk about his article, which will come up in the March MT, uh, entitled Mystery Person, uh, which is a, a review of some work he has done uh, over the last uh, three years with children. Uh, a very interesting and stimulating piece. And in this I edition of MT, I commissioned a, a primary school in Bristol to uh, do some work uh, with his book, Odd One Out. Uh, this was one of the Molly series that he wrote for his granddaughter. Uh, I believe there are, are two books in the series. He had obviously intended there to be more. I think I speak for all his friends when I say he will be really missed.